Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing and demoing the Say Beauty. This is their Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. They do have four shades to choose from. I got, I believe this is the lightest shade, and this is called Light Bronze, which is supposed to be good for fair to light skin with cool or neutral undertones. And this retails for $28. This is supposed to be like a cream slash balm type of bronzer. So it's very moisturizing and it blends into the skin amazingly. So it's a very, very creamy formula and melts into the skin like just right away. Um, if you use the warmth of your finger, it just melts right away. So there is what that color looks like. Again, this is the shade Light Bronze and this is the lightest shade. I actually swatched it earlier, so it's right there. So here is a swatch of it. Now, I'm definitely not like super experienced with applying cream bronzers. I don't use them all that often. So, so sorry if I don't apply this in like the best way ever. Um, let me know if you have any recommendations. But first off, to give you a little bit more information about this. So this is supposed to give a natural finish. I actually personally think it gives more of like a dewy finish, um, but it is made without silicones. It is clean plus planet positive, And it is again, like I said, a cream formula. So this is a lightweight creamy balm bronzer with a natural velvet finish that melts into skin for an easy sun-kissed glow. Some of the highlighted ingredients in here are colloidal oatmeal, which soothes, smooths, and moisturizes the skin. It has grapeseed oil, which contains antioxidants and vitamin E, and it has elderberry extract, which balances the skin's microbiome and is high in vitamin A. So it says that the Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer has a balmy texture and velvety finish that allows for seamless, buildable color that's easy to apply and never cakey or patchy. The formula is packed with ingredients like organic colloidal oatmeal to moisturize, as well as silica, grapeseed oil, and elderberry extract to nourish and visibly balance the skin. So I am just gonna go ahead and apply it. I have this like buffing kind of brush from um, Real Techniques. So I'm just gonna use this. Let me know if you like have any like recommendations for like a brush to use. Maybe I should use a more dense brush than this. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of like, I don't know, almost like stipple dab it on and then blend it out. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend that side more but I feel like this is probably the best way to apply it. Again, I'm not like super experienced in applying cream bronzers, but I feel like this is working. Um, maybe I applied it too low. I don't know, I think it's fine. But as you can see, like it's blending out really, really well. It doesn't look heavy or cakey. So like they said, it's not gonna look cakey and I definitely agree with that. It is very, um, easy to blend out. It applies super seamlessly. It says it's supposed to give like a velvety type of finish and I guess I kind of agree with that, but I also feel like it's actually like kind of dewy. So it's not gonna be, like, velvety I feel like is more of like a, like a semi-matte type of finish, but I feel like this is kind of dewy. Not like overly dewy, but it, it just has that like dewy kind of like feeling to it and I feel like it it just, it looks very like, almost like glowy on the skin at the same time. So I wanna say it looks kinda dewy. <laughs> but it's very beautiful and it looks really, really natural. Super easy to blend out. If you're looking for like a no makeup makeup kinda look, a bronzer that's like good for a no makeup makeup kinda look, then I think that you would really, really like this. Also, you can definitely like build up with this without it like, without overdoing it. So you can kind of like keep building for a bit without overdoing it. Like it's not gonna look crazy. It's not gonna look, gonna look like you applied way too much bronzer. It just looks super, super natural. So if you have been wanting a cream bronzer, um, but didn't know which one to get and want one that's easy to work with, then I definitely recommend this one because it is very, very easy to work with. I honestly, I have not, like I mentioned, I have not used many cream bronzers. I just normally use powder ones, but I will say this is very beautiful and it looks very, very natural and it's so easy to work with and definitely just helps kind of warm up the face. I think I applied it. I don't know if I applied too much. See, I feel like I almost technically like applied too much, but I feel like it just doesn't look like I applied too much. Like it just, it is something that you can kind of build up and you don't have to worry too much about like applying too much of it. I still think it just like looks really nice and it warms up the face. And I like this color as well for my skin tone. I feel like this is a really nice color. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit on the jawline and then down the neck as well. 
so yeah this is what the bronzer looks like i'm just gonna get up close i definitely like i feel like maybe i need to use a different brush i don't know i just maybe i just didn't concentrate it right because i think i definitely brought it a little too low um maybe just need to concentrate it more like up here and yeah i just brought it down a little low but i still think it looks really pretty looks really really natural as hopefully you can tell like it looks so natural that it almost doesn't look like i applied a bronzer but at the same time it still did a really nice job at warming up the face and my face just does look like it has a little bit more color to it which is really nice i think it's really really pretty again if you have been looking for a cream bronzer i think that this one is worth checking out i do think that it is really really nice i did purchase this myself by the way i got it at sephora so if you guys are interested in trying this i will link it in the description box below um but yeah i guess that's really all that i have to say about this bronzer hopefully that was helpful if you guys do have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and if you guys do want to see even more content from me in the future it would mean so much to me if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel but if you guys did enjoy this video please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all for my next video. Bye guys.